PADS high speed routing adheres to all the rules specified by designers and can be done in interactive or batch mode with full controls. Component pad entry and fan out also play an important role in high speed routing. As I review the properties of this BGA, you'll see that the fan out is set up for quadrant alignment. Now looking at this quad flat pack, you'll see that it has the fan out direction set to inside, which can easily be set to both sides or outside as desired to improve routability. Looking at the design rules, I'll select a pin pair and I can see that the length rule has been set to a min max length from 1 to 1.15 inches long. As I route a few of these pin pairs without any concern for lengths, I can later use the tune command to automatically tune them to the specified lengths. To route the rest of these nets, I can select them and then use the route command to ensure they will be routed with the correct trace lengths and tuned as specified. As I route this differential pair in interactive mode, you'll notice if I select one pin of the differential pair that they will be routed together. You'll notice there is now a length monitor attached to the cursor. As I route, I can also use the accordion command as desired and continue routing and then double click to complete routing this differential pair. Now looking at the properties of another differential pair, we see that for all layers that the trace width is set to 10 mils and the gap is set to 5 mils. Also, the trace length is set for a minimum of 2.45 inches and a max length of 2.5 inches. I can also define set rules for differential pairs for different layers. For example, I'll add a rule for routing layer 2 specifying a trace width of 5 mils and a gap of 5 mils. I'll do the same for routing layer 5. I'll now select the differential pairs in the Project Explorer and route them in automatic mode. I'll also open the length monitor for high speed routing that will display both the estimated and routing lengths in real time. Now using the right mouse button I'll select route to route the differential pairs. You'll notice that the lengths dynamically update. And when the routing is completed, you can see that the width, gap, and length rules have been adhered to. Taking a look at net class rules associated with clock signals, we have a minimum length of 5 inches and a max length of 8.5 inches. I'll auto route the clocks, and you'll notice that the monitor updates the lengths. Next, I'll close the spreadsheet and I'll reroute this clock in interactive mode. You'll notice in the navigation window that the nets routed are in green and adhere to the specified rules. If my manual rerouting does not match the net rules, the nets will turn yellow. I can adjust this easily by selecting the net and using the tune command. PADS provides a scalable environment for routing high-speed nets in interactive and automatic modes. High-speed rules are easy to set up and apply, increasing performance and productivity on complex PCB designs.